Hi guys. So welcome to Lion Bear Podcast. Where you got these two good looking guys for today. You see them on Monday. Niggas look ugly. We're not ugly, man. Come on. We're just like in in this in this state of, I don't know. I don't know about my week. My week has been like a soft week this week. Just a question. I think you're talking about the facial looks, you know, physical looks. Yeah. I don't know what week has to do with it. Me, I had a great one since this cut. That's all I know. No, no. I, I had a great one since this cut. Look here. See ya. You can see everything. From the grade 12 since this cut. I don't know where that grade 12 since this cut came out. What the heck is that is. But me, I, I went and got a grade one cut. No, a grade one cut. Basically, you needed a massage. I guess that's why. What? There's nothing wrong with having a head massage when you're having a haircut. Yeah, head and massage. And you went to the barbers. You just wanted the the massage just to feel sexually enlightened. No, what? Like what the heck? Uh, Lack of uh, love, bro. Sorry. Lack of love. What? <laughs> okay. uh, talking about enlightenment, right? Uh, I, I came across something very, very interesting, right? So I can't get so man. You don't. No, it's not about that. It's like, uh, tr- tr- to be told, right? Um, I was watching a series. Uh, I'm sure everyone knows, uh, well, a lot of people would know about it. It's called uh, Roswell, the New Mexico series. Uh, so it has to do a deal with aliens and stuff like that, right? One of my utmost favorite topics. Not mine, but anyway. Uh, yeah, I mean... Why well, you don't believe aliens exist? Well, it, well no, no, no. It's, it's not about believing. It's not for the, how can I say, faint of heart people with some intelligence. They don't really <laughs> like that stuff. <laughs> Uh, I.E. Wayne, sure. <laughs> but no, 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 jokes aside, uh, yeah, um, the whole series has to do with aliens and stuff like that, okay? But something interesting that caught my uh, caught my eye was... Um, caught your mind. You could say that. This chick, right, she had the spiritual enlightenment course. Well, what does if, that if, mean? If wait, say, wait, liberate, uh, before you move on, I want to know what spiritual enlightenment course is. Okay, uh, What's this? Uh, see, basically what she did was, uh, if I'm not mis- uh, mistaken, it's called Reiki. What Wait, you, Google mm-hmm. what Reiki is there? Reiki. Reiki. Uh, what Why you is that? I think it's R-Y-K. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's Reiki. I. Yeah, try that. And well, what is that now? Okay, yeah, uh, Reiki basically, uh, again... It's a name. It just pops up there. It, it, it's, 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 um... A lot of these famous guys do it, like, I mean, uh, Kim Kardashian. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, I'm a guy. I did watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians a few times. And the, and the sex tape. Uh, a lot. Okay. Cool, <laughs> now, cool. the thing is, uh, what they do is basically they lie flat on the bed, right? They use, uh, you could say, uh, so, stones. So, so, so what, 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 what's, what's, what's the, 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 the what? No, wait, I'm trying to get, like, where he's, where he's going with the story before he says the story. You see, like, that, in, that's in, what I'm... Because I want to try to understand it to the, to the per- in, perspective he's, he's in, trying to understand. In, in terms of enlightenment, it's like... Uh, so you're talking about enlightenment. Like, uh, we, ho- we all have uh, different views on what enlightenment is, right? A lot of people say, you need to be enlightened. A lot of people would refer to God. Okay, it's a topic, a very, very touchy topic, but to God. Then the other enlightenment is spiritual enlightenment. You become one with the universe, with nature, with everything in and around you. I like that. Now the thing is, well, like, what I'm curious uh, is, majority of people believe that Reiki doesn't work, okay? Because they say it does not connect you with, like, your spiritual whatever, if I could say. Meditation. Meditation helps you calm down, takes a step back. It allows you to become or to get out of body, you become this, this different type of person, if not a spiritual version of yourself, right? What, why I wanted to speak about that is something, okay, um, very different. I think of Sorry, things bro. that... Uh, Getting back to the meaning of Reiki, Reiki. yes, yeah. well, before we could carry I, on. I, I'm sure if you could search Reiki, uh, spiritual healing or something like that, because I have no idea what you're talking about, like, like, like uh, he's I wouldn't say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's a new, like, new thing, uh, it's been around for a very long time, uh, yeah. Like, is actually spiritually guided life force energy. 
What is spiritual? The spiritually guided life force energy. What is that? Sure. No, no, like, explain, let's talk about that. Like, it is a simple, natural, and safe method of spiritual healing and self improvement that, every, that everyone can use. Do you know how to do that? <laughs> no. so, uh, how do they do that, essentially, um, from what you saw? The thing is, they have healers. Uh, maybe I'm maybe calling them wrong healers or. Uh, spiritual guides who perform this Reiki technique on you. Uh, the thing is, I always believe this. A placebo effect has been has been way before we even realize what a placebo is. Right till now, if you believe something works, eighty percent of the time it would work. A placebo effect. Yeah. If I tell you, having a sip of water helps your body, cleanses your body. You have a sip of water in the back of your mind you'd feel good you'd be like oh, it's good it's a placebo effect that's how things work so if i tell you if i have to pull your hair it won't hurt you would expect it not to hurt but it would but because of your brain telling you that it won't it won't like uh when i was a kid right uh growing up they gave me or oh, what should i say i was tricked into having a lot of things uh, especially doctors, uh, they, they like when I was sick, I'd always know that hey, I need to go to a doctor to get well. I'd go to the doctor, probably gives me a sugar tablet, like just one of those crystal sweets, swallow it, and he'd be like, you know what, this would help me. Meanwhile, it was just in my mind, I get better mm -hmm. because well, my body didn't need it. Oh, yeah, I heard about this year where they uh, they like trick you, you, there's something wrong, like you, you, they tell you, like, okay, there's this pearl, it'll help you, but psychologically they just give you like a sugar pearl and psychologically if you just heal yourself and your mind just like sort of like takes it in as oh this is just gonna heal me that's what you're talking yeah, about yeah yeah it's as i said with that placebo effect it generally works on reiki but i'm not hating on that idea of what reiki what's has. the origin of it done it uh, i wouldn't know the Who's origin the origi I, well I, 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 origin of uh, reiki uh, i don't know because i would like to know what what this life force is in terms of the origin so just say origin uh, you should you should be able to pick it up uh, origin of uh, where did it come from like, uh, because that's that's a new thing i haven't heard of that before guys is it uh, not chi from the like chinese this thing do you see um uh, no they just said it's i be it has to be it has to be coming from some uh, sort back of to the late 90 or early 20th century which 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 uh cultural diversity because i mean that's what determines what spiritual healings come from like like the chi comes from the chinese yeah japanese japanese, japanese. Yeah. so it's a japanese form of form of uh, spiritual... japanese and chinese okay every time i hear the word the uh the word japanese i always think about cars not about the, 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 the automobile vehicle, cars, cars. Talking about the movie Cars, uh, there's a guy, Mater, he's the tow truck. Uh, in one of his snippets, he always says, Arigato. <laughs> it's really fun. But um, Japanese, I mean, uh, let's be honest, they invented drifting. They invented. The, no, the no, 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 that, that cannot be possible. Japanese they, they invented, invented, invented drifting. They invented drifting. No, yeah. that's not possible. They invented drifting. That, they that, invented, that can never be possible. They invented the culture. I have seen of the best drifting in South Africa I've ever seen in the world, and I've seen Americans react it, to it, it and everyone reacts. In reacted. South Africa, it's not so much. It's so intense, like the spinning. guy just jumps off the car and just like it's called just spinning. Kind of runs around. That's not drifting, it's called spinning. Bro. Drifting, in terms of what drifting is, what they generally use is. A powered two liter engine with a rear wheel drive with a hydraulic handbrake. Well, nowadays, hydraulic handbrake uh, back in the days it was just a manual that you go up, manual clutch. So, what are you uh, trying to say? All those bushes have got hydraulic handbrake. Uh, well, uh, or they fit it? Uh, I may be wrong, but uh, I don't think they have the hydraulics uh, in terms of the one that you could just pick up here and there. Yeah, yeah. But you see, if you go to Japanese culture, mm. one of the most beautiful cultures, in my opinion, right? Mm. Their car culture is on a level that we've never seen before. Like, we, we okay, my, my preference, I love German. I love German cars, and I have a little, little, which is a massive love affair for the English and the Swedish guy by the name of Christian von Kulikse. 
Love it. Who man. are these people are you you're talking about? Just like I say. have no idea who well, are you talking well, about. Well, you see, in 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 in, in the car industry, right? Christian von Koenigsegg is a self-taught engineer who went out and created one of the greatest cars to ever exist. What was called that? A Koenigsegg CCR. Okay. CC CCX. I think so. Then he came up with a Zonda. The Zonda was nice. The Zonda. Then he came out with the F1 with the full carbon. Then he comes up with the Nagira. Then he comes with the Regera. Phew. Cars that are pantomime. I swear to you, the pantomime appeal of those cars. It literally puts Lamborghini to shame in terms of a bedroom wall poster car. Because you got Pagani on the other side. Maurizio Pagani. You got him on the other side. Who's making cars, not for, 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 for your track orientated cars, but not for the cars that you literally want to drive every single day. The cars that he creates, when you look at it, it gives you a feeling of accomplishment. But both of them are like equally beautiful. Uh, equally beautiful, uh, you know, growing up, uh, I, I was uh, like, uh, I didn't know a lot about a lot. Guys should always tell me when you want to, if you buy a Zonda, which back then i thought yeah no 20 21 22 i'll be out of campus i'll be earning like uh, uh, 40,000 a month i could buy a house in zimbali <laughs> i'd be driving three cars probably have a wife a kid <laughs> how did that change <laughs> i mean uh, i always thought i could have a zonda uh, they told me i needed an airport to drive one because it was super loud so growing up with with, you, with, with wait, ideas, wait, you need to own an airport. Yeah, yeah. I was told uh, from a lot of people that the car is so loud, uh, it does not mean that's uh, not that's limits. not legal. That can yeah, never it, be it's legal. It's not legal. It's not legal to drive a Zonda F one. No, I mean around. you can't you can't have a, a stipulation by saying you have to own an airport. I don't think you can own an airport. Oh, well, I, I think it was just a as, saying. As I said, growing up, but yeah, pro- probably. Yeah, just the same. You, you know, yeah, a saying like. We've been told a lot, uh, but yeah, I mean, like, I don't know about you, but one of the cars I'd love, I'd love, I'd love, 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 love to own is the R34 Skyline, a Nismo edition from Japan. I mean, leave Godzilla. That's the original Godzilla. Mm-hmm. To drift, something I'd love to do. In South Africa, we spin, or we call it doing the donuts, the gush style. We don't, per se, drift like Jap- how the Japan, uh, the, 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 the Japs do it. We do, they do it whole different stuff. I mean, there's a game called NSF Carbon. The final, the, the final phase in the game is drifting from a mountain in Japan. The movie Tokyo Drift. I mean, Tokyo freaking Drift. Why didn't they have something called South African Drift? One, 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 one of the best. One of the best. You know that song? Yeah. I don't really think it, it, the drifting came from there. If you look at it in the 90s, right? I think South it was Africa popular, did, did, popular, did not popular have cars. By them. I don't think it came from them. I would I would think they came from it because uh, maybe the Germans or something because they were the first one to produce I all know those cars. How drifting came about? You know when we were nineties, yeah, we had our bicycles. Then we had those those one liter bottles. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, put yeah. At the back of the tire. Yeah. That is how drifting came about. <laughs> that <laughs> is how <laughs> fucking drifting came about. <laughs> you, you, you know where I, where I live, we had an empty plot right next to us. Uh, like a couple of the houses above. Yeah. We call it the donut factory. Well, our, yeah, yeah. Where, 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 where the, the bikes, bikes, the bikes. Uh, yeah. well, What we do is, now, we at the time we all had BMX. I mean, BMX was the, what the best bike you could get. Uh, the one where you had the lock brakes in the back, you just reverse the paddles with lock brakes. We go there. I have factions. no idea why. We would this. spin you our bikes. I, I swear to you, you know, it actually brings me to a story that I want to share with you. I had, uh, growing up, I had a friend, uh, Sianda. We mm-hmm. called it Nobby. <laughs> I grew up with him, you know, and uh, I went through the beds and watched with him. I watched his mother die, watched his father get sick and die as well. I mean, I grew up with a kid. Yeah. A story once where uh, I had a bike and he never had one. I mean, everyone around us had one, but for me, it was like my, my brother doesn't have a bike. And I mean, you all know, when, when someone so close to you doesn't have something, what's yours is theirs. Yeah. So I asked my dad to buy me another. I gave it to him. We customized it to his specifications, his liking. So at the top of my road, at the bottom is a park with a hill. We decided to drag, okay? Now, being a runner, he was he was fast, so he decided to go, yeah. and he left. But the thing is, he had no brakes, which we forgot about. Right? I remember that guy, bro. You remember? He hit that hump, 
or that bank so high. I could be lying, but he probably picked three meters into the air. And when he descended, he landed into Wait, the jungle gym. Was it the same guy who just stammer? Not stammer. No, like, no, 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 no. It was the same guy though. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm sure if you'd seen him, you'd know him. I don't see him. Kind of looks a little bit like Terrence. I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> Only thing he's a little bit more good looking. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, God could have done worse. He could have done worse. Yeah, I'm handsome. I don't care what y'all say. I mean, God could have done worse yeah, for me. Me, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> you know you don't care. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I'll be honest with you. I'd rather be what society deems as ugly than to have a laugh like him. My laugh is beautiful. Everyone is beautiful in the old way. Don't let anyone tell you a laugh is ugly. Okay. <laughs> okay, sir. <so. laughs> after, okay. this, after this video is done, we will see the, the comment. I just want to talk about something really quickly. Let's just throw this in. <clears throat> I'll be known to be called uh, a lot of names. Uh, the God. The FIFA legend. Sure, sure. The sure. Mannschaft. Mm. Mia, sir, Mia. I played this guy uh, uh, a quick round of FIFA. He told me that he's going to beat me so badly that I may not recognize who I am. I may question my life. I may think. I, I did not say that 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 uh, that shit. I so, did not um, say that shit. Uh, uh, you just want to unleash the bear, eh? You want wood, wood talent. Wood talent? Yes. What the hell? Are you what? talking about? It's a chance game. Okay, 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 guys, guys. Let's be honest. We've all been through a situation. You do one thing that no one has seen before. They call it luck, or they call it a fluke. But you do it the second time, then you'll be like, what's the odds? You do it the third time. You got a question about it. You got to think. A few weeks ago, I played this guy probably about 20 matches. He didn't even win a single. That is a lie. I thrashed him. That is a lie. I can barely remember what happened two weeks ago. You can lie to me and say you won 30 matches in a row and destroyed me. I won't even remember the matches. Uh, yeah. I do apologize. He's suffering of PTSD. What P we don't have PTSD in South Africa, man. <laughs> he, he's been through the war with me when it comes to FIFA. No, the truth is, Terence is weak in FIFA. What? I agree. High five. I'm joking. I'm Whoa, sorry. Bro. Okay. I lie, I lie, I lie. Okay, I don't. I don't know anymore. But you don't even know how to play FIFA. I Which don't. Which man doesn't know how to play FIFA? Explain to me that. Let me not defend myself about that. Which man doesn't know how to play FIFA? You? <laughs> oh, you ox! <laughs> so I have to say. So this is like a gang up podcast. Okay, cool. Gang up podcast. Cool, cool. cool. Nah, uh, uh, no, uh, we don't do like uh, I mean, I mean, uh, let's be honest. If your friend gives you an opportunity to pick at him, you pick at him. This guy's whole life is an opportunity to pick at him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at that laugh. He starts. Hey, easy. <laughs> That's crazy, man. You know, I was uh, getting about this uh, the stuff with the stuff that's going on. What are we on now? Lockdown what? One. We are lockdown one. What are, are the restrictions? Officially now? one. Oh uh, no, no, no. We're not officially in one. We'd be there in, uh, on uh, Sunday uh, midnight. So but, still uh, on uh, second gear, like. Ah, uh, what's uh, some Sunday say midnight? <laughs> some would say coasting with your clutch in. Yeah. So 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 yes. so what are the restrictions for lockdown one? Uh, I wouldn't say I've been too clued up with it because let me be honest with you, once level 3.1.2.0.1.0.1.4.0.3 hit house like what the hell's going on? Just now we're gonna have section A to the lockdown, section B to the lockdown. I was like whatever. So I just know once level two was hidden, uh cigarettes were for sale, uh, uh some uh, liquor was for sale and then level one apparently the curfews have been picked up, international travel has been released. Which is uh, not bad. Uh, I mean, uh, hey, let's take a chance. Let's go overseas. I'm not going nowhere. He doesn't I even leave his house, guys. I don't leave the uh, room at all. Yeah, he's better than PTSD, guys. It's not PTSD. It's not overcautious. I just love my peace and quiet and being alone with the demons. That's all. As Samuel L. Jackson once said, TikTok. I love to have motherfucker. Yeah, what's wrong with TikTok? Tell me what's wrong with TikTok. What the hell is wrong with TikTok? 
Nothing, I don't have anything against it. Then why, why you pick up TikTok? It's when you make bad videos. There's nothing wrong with TikTok. Yeah, there's nothing. Anyway, my TikTok is at TZ7, all in words. Yes, guys, don't follow it. No. I'm Unlike just, and desubscribe if you could. I'm just having fun. Should I say? I, I'm just having fun. I, 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 I got nothing to lose. Like, so the way, uh, we'd, we'd, we'd like to know a few things about you, right? Uh, if you don't mind us asking, uh, first of all, uh, I've, I've, I've heard through the grapevine they call you Luane the Muriel, mm. which is amazing. I mean, mm. like, then again, you do look like a Muriel. Mm. The one yeah. that we paint uh, behind the sewers. That that hair. I know, right? That hair is like a mushroom. <laughs> mushroom? I think he looks like a free young woman. You Thank know? you. Thanks, bro. High what? Mm. <laughs> 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 it's called an afro. Well, no. Yeah, I'm gonna lie to you. It's, it's personal. It's a uh, personal preference, but I love me curly frizzy hair. Ooh. On a woman, not a guy. Isn't I mean, isn't guys. isn't it that ideas. when when women have these uh, curly hairs, it looks so sexy. Like I don't know. I, I think I think I for me, love the curls. For me, it's like, like it if I see a if, if, if I see a, a lady with with curly hair, I just feel that. I, I get I get weak to my knees. I can't speak. It's like I'm starstruck. I so mean, I'm starstruck. If you if you had hair like mine, would you love it? Ah, would you like it? I I don't know because um, I've always had straight hair and you don't I have never, straight hair. I, I have straight hair. You have a bit of a curly. Okay, I, I do have what what some would call semi curly. Have you ever wished for for curly hair? No, not really because uh, I, I am one who does not take care of my hair really? to say that oh yeah good uh to say that i do a lot of product care stuff like that that is a lie that is a complete <laughs> lie how much do you pay for a haircut and say I'll, I'll pay 150 rand 150 rand for a haircut which yeah. is a lot are you kidding me how much do we get a haircut for 30 40 bucks yes 30 40 bucks not 150 bucks uh, and you telling me you don't care me, about your hair? Let me ask you a question. Uh, did you buy a second-hand cheap car which is valued at 30000 Yeah. You did? Yeah. Was it a German car by any chance? It was a Mercedes. Uh, uh, it was a Mercedes. Yeah, it was a Mercedes. Okay. Was um, may I ask you, why yeah. didn't you not buy a It was a like, Hyundai what, 29000 The one that we bought recent, uh, I mean, like last year no. or something. Luen, your 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 car. Yes. Remember, we bought your okay, yeah. your car yeah. for like twenty nine thousand or something. Was twenty nine? What? Why was it a uh, German? Yeah, and then we did it up, and then it, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Why yeah. was it a German? It was a it's a Mercedes Benz. Because it's a Mercedes Benz. Taste right? You like it, isn't? It? Yeah. Exactly. I like getting my hair cut by a certain guy for one fifty. Yeah, they, they don't say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying don't say you don't care about your hair and you don't put products and you don't you don't worry about that hair. Yeah, when you I spend don't... more money on your hair than you, I could have in like three months, cutting my own hair. Who is this uh, famous barber? Uh, Who's this barber? He shall go unknown. Okay. Okay. But uh, you they could get. Uh, a lot of more business. Uh, I, I I would like to promote someone without the Secrets. knowing me. Secret. Oh, okay. Uh, knowing that I am promoting them, and this is not a promotional video. I mean, then again, guys, like and subscribe to Louis Muriel's channel. Amazing. <laughs> no, screw, screw that. Like <laughs> and subscribe to Lion Bear Podcast right now. Go ahead, like here, subscribe here, and like here. No, I honestly hate when guys do that, you know? What do you mean? I, 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 we, I, we're doing okay, a podcast I know, I, I, know, time. I know we're doing a podcast forever. You know, the guys would be like, hey guys, just take a few minutes of your time there. And just go to the video, like, subscribe, the link bottom to get notified by this and that. I mean, it's, yeah, I, like at the end of the day. We okay, just, do this here. Subscribe and dislike. If you don't like it. I think I like that. Dislike. Dislike it. If you like this video, dislike it. And if you don't like it, like it. Yeah, yeah let's do something different. I'm sure we get a lot of likes. I'm mm -hmm. sure people have freedom of choice. Whether they want to like it or not like it, that's their own business. 100%?
Hundred percent. Lovely. Yeah, but what Perfect. I'm saying is, like you're running a podcast, you're running like a like like sort of like a a, a, a free forum of uh, free free speech to debate your points. Yeah. So you want more people to get engaged in, in the conversation. Well, to interact. Yes. Okay. Uh, to interact. Uh, guys, uh, I have been uh, questioning this uh, since the last time you and Emilio have done a podcast. And any questions you got? Uh, yeah, I do have one specific question as to life. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Luen was a very, uh, how can I say, apprehensive uh, backboard that we could throw ideas of uh, when it came to life out of this planet. Mm. Um, why do we have to say we believe that there's life on this planet? Well, I don't like the word. I don't mean, like the word belief. I like the word statistically. It's possible. I like that. You know, uh, the question is, Actually, what gives us the definition, the right, the out, the outwilling right to say that we are the only intelligent species on the simple planet called Earth, mm. when there is a solar system, a galaxy, two infinite possibilities of universes out there and beyond. Buzz Lightyear <laughs> and Woody Lightyear. Yeah, 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 sure. You could be the boss. Yeah, because <laughs> you lost the boss. <laughs> Just know, horses have something that's very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do have long tails and mane. I mean, like that's nothing. You to get up saying that. Just. Mm. Yeah, but uh, I'd like to pose this question uh, yeah, pose to, to to the lion and to the Muriel, right? Okay, I know the lion and I, we, we do have the same concept as to where we stand in this universe or this galaxy. Well, you're hosting, whatever. so you just pose the question. And I want to I'll, 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 I'll post this to our special guest, the Muriel, right? Uh, do you believe in life? After life, I do. Do uh, you? Sorry, I actually was quoting a song. Shit, believe. I know. I know. Cause you I know. believe in love. No, but, yeah, I but, but you see, no, but I think I think you said the wrong way because no, no. not after life, like uh, you, you see, I, I want to know. Beyond the do planet. you believe that Earth is the only planet capable of sustaining a life, or do you believe that we are not the smartest beings in the universe? We call that. So, question number one, please can you repeat it? Yes, please, please be, 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 be like more simplistic. Okay. okay. Do simplistic you, points. Do you believe in aliens? Uh, the, uh, the, the racist terms, we call them aliens. But do you believe in aliens? Extraterrestrials. Extraterrestrials. ET, phone, home. You know why? Right. Let him, let him elaborate why, why, why you might believe or not believe. It's your opinion. You don't have to agree or don't agree. I actually don't even know anymore. Because what the media shows me and then what the news shows me and what people tell me about all this shit, I'm actually not even sure whether it is real or it's not real or I don't know what to believe. Okay, you see, right? I, I, I like to look at things way different from what we would always look at it. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's called Razor's Law. The simplest answer is you should be the right answer. Okay? But if you go back, I look at it like this, right? We have governments that run us. That govern us. They govern our well-being. They govern our society as a whole. They ensure that, you know what, the structures put into place where we can live a daily life. Where this guy could go to work, have uh, support himself, take care of himself, that's the law. We, we, we're born into it, we'll die into it, whatever. As running a country, I, I, I think that what happens when one person, one person in a group of people panics? No, but we're going off of Nothing aliens. really happens. No, 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 no. Try and understand this, right? What happens to a guy in a room of a hundred people when he panics? And he's like, Guys, 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 um, probably there's people trying to kill us. Uh, you, you know, there's things after me. People are going to look at him and be like, something's wrong with me, he's psychotic. 
or but everybody reverse else. the role. Put panic no, with him. Not not always. Reverse the role. What happens if that hundred people start panicking? Hey guys, people are trying to kill us. And that one guy is there. Is he gonna be like, ha <laughs> all of you are tripping? He's not. He's gonna follow the masses. Because say 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 this if you don't wanna say it. We do follow the masses. Whatever. Government tries not to give us the secrets to what they find in the universe because we as people will panic. The mass protests, the mass actions against it. Just imagine, right? Just, yeah, no, I just agree. Imagine, I agree with that. Yeah. Just imagine I the government agree. comes out and says, hey, Area 51 exists. We house more than 70 different species that we have not categorized as This yet. is the US government. Yes, the US government. If they come out and say, because let's be honest, America runs a thing with Russia in the back, sitting with an AK-47. <laughs> Talk now. I mean, like, if you look at it, think about it, right? If the government, uh, if US government has to come up right now and say, you know what, Roswell. What happened in Roswell is true. There was a spaceship that landed there, that crash landed, should I say. We do have aliens. We call them aliens because they are not from this planet. They have intelligent life forms from different planets. Not just a specific life form, but different. How would you, as Luang the Muriel, you as the lion, receive that information? You, you're sitting right here. Pick up your phone. Government confirms aliens exist. Area 51 houses them. I, I'll tell you like how I would respond, right? I know most of the people, like let me give you the, the, my perception of people, how they would respond and give you my perception of how I would respond, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, so cool. I'll start with the people. Like mass will perform, it will say like, the first thing they'll do is target the government saying, okay, you knew this information, but you didn't tell us this here. And then there's mass panic and everything. Okay, what, what are the aliens want? What did they want? Do they exist? What, what technology level are they? But most people like, there's going to be panic. There's going to be mass fear. Like there's things out there. And then it, it also in, integrates with, uh, like I know we, we, we were in some of us talked about religion, but it also interferes with religion a bit, if you think about it. Because now you've got aliens, which isn't incorporated in religion in any part of the world. Yeah, no, no, no. Right? No, 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 point. That. Right? No, point. Now, the belief system changes, which may, creates mass panic, which creates fear, because now people want to fight that off and say no, because they will have a strong belief in that way. But it doesn't necessarily mean that, that, you know, it's off in that way. But ultimately, the point is, people are not going to take it very good. Right. But for me as an individual, as each individual in that there, like me as an individual, I look at it in a different aspect. What do they want? How advanced are they? And also, um, what characteristics do they have to us? I would like to learn more about them, but not instigate something that would cause a panic. You understand? It, it is awesome. I, I do believe they are they are aliens, and the reason why I say aliens is because if you look at the term aliens, it's not it's not a racist term for uh, for extraterrestrials. It is an actual term, which is an abbreviation term. You can Google this. Now, it's awesome to learn about the universe because then it tells us that we're not the only ones here, but that it doesn't necessarily mean that we don't have value in this universe. You know, perfect. It also pushes back to a simple question, right? As, as an individual, you like think about it, right, guys? Uh, we have never been in, in a state of pandemic ever before. We were just broad, broadcasted live from, from the presidential house saying that we are going to be in a lockdown. I mean, for, for me, it was something different. Like, I was abreast about it. I had to sit back and think about it. My way of life, my way of life is it changed. Because, uh, like, I would take a drive to the beach whenever I felt like. I would take a drive to see my friends wherever I felt like. I did things freely. Whereas, if I wanted to buy anything, buy a cigarette, buy a drink, buy whatever, go out with my friends, go out and see a girl, have a date with her, go to the movie, kiss her in public, speak to a friend, hug them in public. Now go we can't up, do, do that. Things. I mean, things, things like that defined me as a person because when I see someone I go up to them and I talk to them I don't okay I know we say I talk to a person but no I go up and I talk to them I ask them the questions that I want to know like 
how are you doing? You see, yeah. the hand There's on the shoulder, contact, the hand on the shoulder, the the way we shake someone's <laughs> hand, the way we embrace them. We can't do that. We we, we were basically stopped from doing it. We were law. So by by just picking up my phone and saying that aliens exist, I would go back to my mind and think that you know what? Hey, what else has the government lied to us about? Yeah, like, like what are the things that they're hiding from us? Why are they hiding things from us? Because in our constitution, we do have the right to free knowledge. We can know whatever we want to. But the government has kept something away from us with our consent. Without our consent, should I say. They deemed it right for us. Yes, we live in a democracy, but we're giving the power to people who say we have the right to choose freedom. Instead of being under a dictatorship, but they would have information that we pay thousands and thousands and thousands of brands to go to college, to study uh, astronomy, to study whatever it has to do, do with finding whether aliens exist, whether there's planets. We invested, what, quarter of a billion uh, US dollars in Kepler, the telescope to That's spot. That's a US uh, government, well, right? well, yeah, they invested a quarter of a billion dollars to uh, into Kepler, which is, in my mind, one of the most outstanding pieces of tech. They invested into it. I mean, hard-earned tax money that's gone there from whatever. But what I'm saying is, those people are doing it because they know what's out there. And we as humans, I mean, like, for me, I, I, I would kill to sit in a lecture from Elon Musk or to sit with Albert Einstein to hear their theories on what space-time travel is, what, what they consider the universe is made of. Yeah, I know it's a boring for a lot of people, but I want to know, I want to know what is not relevant to me because mm. I, 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 as I said, I, I mm. grew up, went to college, got done with that, got a job, starting my life up. I mean, I've done that. I'll probably die very soon or whenever my time is, not knowing whether there was life out there. It's something that I really want to know about. And who, who am I to say that I only believe that life exists? Why should I say I believe? Could I? Could, can, can I not say, I know life exists out there, I just haven't found it. Yeah. But maybe our government has found it, or the US government, but they don't want to let us know because of state of pandemic. Yeah, you see, with the point that you was making was also that when they do let us know, if so happens that they do let the information out that aliens do it, it's a conspiracy theory, obviously, it's not certain, it's not a guaranteed thing until the government gives us information, or any form of government in the world gives them information. The fact is, when they do give us and say, okay, aliens do exist and they live on this certain planet and they have this sort of things and thing, then we start to think, how long have you known this? Because I know for sure that there's things that are classified and, and declassified in information, right? Now, from what I know, you can Google this, there are six fake moon landings before, uh, well, okay, so this, there's, there's, <laughs> You just got me up a rockers there. So anyway, there's six fake moon landings. I'm not even joking about this. Have you know? Do you know about this? Yeah. Uh, apparently, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the, the 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 whole thesis behind this is that the the guy Yuri something uh, Yuri Boyka. No, no. Oh. <laughs> For my I time. shall kill you. <laughs> no, I mean like Yuri. Um, forgive me for his surname Zerkov. Zirkov or something like that if I'm not mistaken maybe I'm maybe I'm just not in the same area code as him but uh, apparently he was the first guy to go to the moon and the Soviets or the Russians at the time no no but but the not. US the US government well uh, Apollo 1 to 13 uh, had okay, okay which Apollo actually went to the moon you know it was Apollo 11 right I you think know? it's Apollo guys Apollo Apollo. Yeah. But I can guarantee if you Google that, that that stuff there, you'll see there's that the US government faked six moon landings. Yeah. And then they told the public that it's actually uh, real. You know, uh, like one thing I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love is theorists. I absolutely love those. They call them whack jobs, lunatics, psychos, theorists. theorists. Oh. No, no, they, this is they, a fact. They, it's they, not a theory. It's not a theory. They, they come up with these conspiracies. They, 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 I, I, love the word, I love the word conspiracies. I love them. No. Why I love them is because they have this mental space where they think of stuff that people dismiss. They call them theories. They call them whack jobs. They call them crazos. I <laughs> love those guys. Okay. A lot of movies 
I'm, I'm a fanatic. Yes, call me a kid in a freaking candy store. Call me a dreamer. Call me whatever you want. Just don't call me at night time. Just say. What I'm trying to say is, uh, I'm sure you loved, loved it growing up. I'm sure the Muriel loved it growing up. Transformers. I love them. I love them. I love them. I mean, love who didn't love them? I mean, the, the CGI in that thing was so unreal that like, I was like, like for me, smoke screen. But what's. Decepticons roll in. I mean, I loved it. Can you imagine there was, what they, they did with that that movie? Is like there was one of the the plots behind the movie, in terms of where they found uh, one of the old uh, old uh, Autobots. Was it on the moon? The U.S. government declared it as the dark side of the moon. Boom. A simple thing. A simple thing as the dark side of the moon. Who are we to say that the Apollos that went there prior were attacked by something? In the dark no, side of no, the moon. No, no, no. But this is this is a fact. They faked six moon landings uh, before they actually did the right moon landing. Right? And when they did that, they they actually released it to the public. You can Google this here. Like say say uh, U.S. government faked uh, fake moon landings uh, uh, evidence because they actually did this the this stuff they actually really did this stuff until they got the actual until JFK said um, you know what uh, when JFK uh, this thing uh, John F. Kennedy uh, said that they were gonna go to the moon I love it I love his speeches by the way anyway getting back to the topic is. Uh, what they had done is when he after he was assassinated, um, they had faked level thing six because they wanted to uh, show that they were more superior in the in the, in the rocket science technology than the Soviets at that time. Just to put a little plug on that, speaking about conspiracies, the conspiracy of who assassinated John F. Kennedy. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's one of the biggest things ever. Uh, you know, I know a story. I know a story. Uh, I'll explain that. I know a story where why they assassinated him, but I don't know whether how true or how false it is. Oh, well, 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 but it's a conspiracy. Well, that, that's the thing. Nothing is wrong here. Nothing is right here. Everything is just meaningful. So that. what what happens is, you see, there's this um, there's there's amongst conspiracy theories, the theorists, uh, there's this conspiracy that there's a secret society behind the government that runs things that are never out of place and they don't give information to the government right so they just like their own organization around the world and then they just run these projects all the time and then what happened was if you dig too deep as a president because you have the power to do that and say why is the funding going into these black uh, projects you know these black uh, projects is declassified black projects now black projects i mean these are the actual terms for it right these declassified black projects mm-hmm. have no actual um, what you call advancements in society, society yeah, right? Yeah. They, they have no role in this thing, but they go into a society that's unknown and it's just going in there. Now, what happened is they said that uh, normally when a president gets inaugurated, he gets up, updated on this and says, don't probe into this and probe and focus more on this, these aspects and these are the most important aspects but they are briefed on those topics right but they say if you probe too much on that there then that's when the society comes after you and then a hell of shit happens okay it, it, it also takes me back to one of the movies guys uh, because they don't want to be the bill they are secret like, society like one of the greatest conspiracies we, we watch that we also tend to not pay attention to is movies one of the movies, uh, it's called National Treasure with Nicolas Cage. It showed that when the president was, uh, how can you say, inaugurated, inducted, if that's the right word, he was given the black box. In the black box, he has the key only to him. Left down from president to president to president. Yes, they, they do have that. Now, in the journals, which is just basically a box of like, yay big, yay big, it has information as to who killed John F. Kennedy, as to what was Roswell, New Mexico, all about. 
as to who runs the two masons, the society. Now, I'm not, um, as, as uh, the line said here, uh, about the society behind the presidency. They are well, the they're not of, only behind the presidency. Let me well, just clarify that they're across the world, they, they behind are every government. Every day. Uh, they are called... Well, they're not, the government has no control over them. They, they call it different names. They call many a name. They are one of the names that I did uh, come across was called the Masons, the Freemasons. Well, they're not the Freemasons. The this, this is a different society. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. As I said, the uh, Masons they, are they, open they society, but they are free. I, I did come across a lot of people speaking about it, calling them the Freemasons, the Masonics. Uh, a lot of people call them the Society or Sinister. Then we had nicknames the Evil Society. A lot of. But they won. They and, won. And, and the thing is, I'm gonna be honest to you. I I don't disbelieve it, because let me be honest to you. In the world that we live in, to think or to believe that it doesn't exist, for me, it's called insanity. There is a Mason uh, temple in uh, Durban. You know? Yeah, yeah, off Bria Road. Yeah, and and you know Hennessy is a, is a Mason uh, product. Uh, 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 There's the symbol right here. I was, the one, the, symbol I was right the one who brought his attention to it. There's the uh, symbol right Because here. I saw the, uh, the the signature of it. The insignia. Yeah, there's the signature right here. The insignia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the insignia. Yeah, that's ama- it's even says Mason founder, foundee. There you go. So, they're not, they're not technically, they they secrets are, are secret, but they're not... They are secret society in terms of the secrets that they hold, but they are society that everyone knows about. You understand? If, if that makes sense. You know, going back to the and, whole... And they basically uh, <laughs> builders of society. Yeah, you, you know, going back to the whole idea of uh, speaking about uh, aliens, right? Very interesting, very interesting, very interesting. I was watching this thing called uh, find, uh, Expedition of Finding Big. Yes, 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 guys. I believe Bigfoot exists. <laughs> call me a believer. Call me a dreamer. Call me a lunatic. I believe Bigfoot exists. Yeah. Thought I saw one the other day. Turns out just to be the end of the video. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. You don't need to see that guy. He doesn't show it. But the thing is, Why um, are you look at they believe way? that they believe that uh, they inhabited this planet way before. Yeah, like like I'm gonna say Homo sapiens exists. Right? Like if you go look at Gy- Gigantopithecus, it was the largest ape humanoid species that existed. They believe it to be Bigfoot's ancestor. But if you look from Gy- uh, Gigantopithecus, right, that, that generation gap between Homo sapiens is, is massive. So they believe that humans, well, there's theorists out there, conspiracy theorists, whatever you want to call them, they believe that humans. Are aliens that we came and colonized Earth, which then forced Bigfoot into hiding. And how does Bigfoot hide? In America, the Appalachians, uh, Milwaukee, there are thousands and thousands to maybe millions of lava tombs. Lava tombs is what happens when the tectonic plates when they do collide. Lava exceeds off it. It starts creating two uh, tombs and uh, and trails underground. Like caves. Like caves, yeah. They call them lava tombs, right? Now, these tombs have been known to interconnect. They believe that Bigfoot is but a it's nocturnal so complex. creature. But those, yeah, those yeah, caves yeah. are so no, complex. No, 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 no. To a point, you, you, you cannot, how can I say, uh, map them. Because they're so intertwined. They, like, a lot of people would say that Bigfoot is a nocturnal creature which it hunts at night. Uh, well, one reason why it hunts at night because people can't see during the day. Boom, boom. Because it's dark down there, they believe they believe that Bigfoot can can navigate and stuff like that. You know, I was really surprised that they actually said humans could have been from out of that, from outer space. Because if you look at the Aboriginal people in Australia, they have drawings, tablets, whatever, murals dedicated to skyboards. People from above coming down. Yeah, but see, 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 here's my problem with this here, right? I don't believe this in a story. This is the problem. I don't believe in evolution. That I'll be straightforward with you. I don't believe in evolution. Right? So I can't say that even though it's a conspiracy theory or what, it's not going to prove my point. Let me tell you why I don't believe in evolution, right? 
I believe in microevolution. There's something called macroevolution and something called microevolution. Now, microevolution is the changing of uh, environmental circumstances so that over generations, your 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 body, like you as a human being, yeah. are able over generations or two to three decades able to adapt to that climate, right? That's called microevolution because. You went from like a, a hot Sahara area, Sub in, yeah, and then you go, yeah, so not bad. Uh, right, and then you go to like maybe um, somewhere that's cold like the Antarctica and you start living there. Over the time you're going to have Antarctic? like babies and things and then um, they, they, those children are going to be so adapted to the, those, those things, but at, eventually at that state, you're still human. You understand what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what macroevolution is, is they say every organism came from one organism. Okay. Right. Now, at first it was, there was this organism, it was like this base fish, right? So bacteria created this uh, organism. Uh, uh, I can't, can't get the name of it. Uh. Yeah. And then uh, the fish decided, okay, it needs to spread out. And then as it spread out, there was no food in certain areas. So it decided to go to land. And so they walked on land and things like that and things like that. And then they changed species. Boom, boom, now boom, that boom, I don't boom, believe. Boom, boom. I, I'm not sure if, you're, if your two guys watched the Big Bang Theory. Yeah. The, the, the starting jingle for the Big Bang Theory. Yes. Uh, uh, go on YouTube quickly and, and, and check that out. Because it, it, dis- it describes what you're talking about. Which is something which is amazing. Uh, another, another thing, uh, I know this happened a couple because of months let ago. Me, let me tell you this, yeah, because uh, this is how I'll prove this to you, right? Why I believe in, in microevolution, not macroevolution. I don't believe you can change species. Jingle. You understand? You see, I don't believe you can change species. The reason being is you can't have. Suppose we take a lifespan of. Um, Something that's have a lifespan. What's the lowest lifespan of an organism right now? What's the lowest organism lifespan? I would assume it's uh, it, it's one of those uh, moth flies. Right. They and how long do they last? They, they die under twenty four hours. It's a, it's a butterfly or a moth fly. Right. We can't play more than thirty seconds of any other YouTube video, even the audio. We get pulled down from YouTube because YouTube has this uncensored policy thing. So we can't use other videos and other stuff like that. We can use like thirty it. seconds. Yeah, I will cut it though. Um, yeah, but that's the thing. It's a it's a atrop, uh, autotrophs. Yeah, autotrophs. Now, think about it like this. Now, like if we take that fly that you said with the shortest lifespan, we put it in different environments. Shortest lifespan of an organism. Oh, I think it's the shortest lifespan of a moth fly or some fly. It it spawns in the. Think about it like this. Day. Think about it like this. Yeah. Right? Imagine that. This is this is how to prove my point. Now I'm trying to prove my point. Here. If I have to take this and put this in different environments, right? Say I put it underwater to to live and maybe with some oxygen for some time then keep move, removing oxygen, put it in the Antarctica, put it in the desert and eventually over time, say over 10 years, right? That's evolution, right? That's decades going in. That's almost the, the, the same amount of evolution that you would say for human species if you believe in macroevolution, right? In terms of that organism, that organism would eventually grow to be a different species, right? That's what evolution dictates, macroevolution dictates. But that's not what happens. The, the what is it, fly or moth or whatever? I don't know if I'm mistaken. Well, it, it's, it, one it, it, it's, that, it's one of those. It's one of those. So that organism is still going to be the same organism, just a different version, variation of that organism, which is a I'm, micro I'm evolution. I'm not mistaken. What they do is they they are born to mate, and after they mate, they die. But it's within twenty four hours. It's something very interesting. Mm. Shout out to my guys up there in America. Yeah. So so that. that is my point. Like, if you think about it, a wolf and a dog. It's still a dog at the end of the day. But there are different attributes because one lives in the wild and is adapted in well, microevolution. Well, they say the dog is a derivative of the Yes. But now you can't say that the, the wolf is now related to a lion. 
You can't. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? Yeah. That, that's my point. You can say there's, there's micro -ev evolution that's taking place amongst the species. I so, so want a capuchin monkey. Mm. A capuchin monkey? Yeah. That one with that funny face. Yeah. I hate that thing. I love those things. Gives me the creeps. The one from George of the Jungle. You watch George of the Jungle? Uh, Brendan Fraser? Does, ja does Justin Bieber have one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. But but I do believe I'm that. I'm a millennial society. This guy here yeah, follows Justin Bieber to the T. He's a Bieber Bieber head. I like Justin Bieber. There's nothing wrong with Justin Bieber. I like his songs. No, I didn't say I don't like Just his Just because songs. you don't like his character doesn't mean anything. I didn't to me. say I don't like him. I mean, this guy is in love with him. That's the difference. <laughs> I'm not in love with him. I like his music. Yeah, okay. Mm. That's what you told us about a lot of people. <laughs> what it turns out, you became a stalker. <laughs> Guys, if you could see his face, he has so much guilt running on it. Yeah, I do. Huh? It's not even funny. I do. Well, it actually is. I mean, if you had to look at it. Makes yeah. you die. <laughs> so, guys, today's Friday. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think we 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 call it an end for this podcast. No, what starts. call it an end? And Let's get uh, one more topic and then we call it an and, end. And uh, we 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 we. That is what I did day. the last time, man. I think we carry on for another 30 minutes. We got a, we got an hour in, so let's one more topic and then we call it a, a switch. Sorry guys that I have to point there because I just have to see like, we, we don't have, we, we, we basically starting off. Okay, what he's trying to say is we are very unprofessional and we, uh, we are not even at the start of phase because we don't even have the equipment. I mean, look at it, I look dark. I mean, I should have a light in here to make me look fair. So what are you trying to say you're like amateurs? Everyone's amateurs. got a... I mean, please, we wish we were called amateurs. Yeah, so we, everyone we basement has to... We at the moment. I mean, we started, I mean, I wish I could have had some edit to work with this. I mean, Let me tell you about something. If you see his socks... It's panda. Not Terrence's. It's a You mean socks. the lines. Lion where? I'm the lion. Lion yeah. where? He is one of those lions that were, there was kept in captivity for years and abused and beaten up, uh, starved for food. Uh, he looks like he's just about and to the, die. He's got like rashes and scabies and stuff like that. Exact I mean, same lion yeah. that they gave him like a Mark III plate. Mark III? Cause, yeah, because lions have no, I a think, lot of hair. I thought they used like one of those blow torches to get rid of fleas and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, and then it burns his face or something. I mean, I'm not saying he doesn't look good, but I'm not even saying he looks good. I mean, like... Look at that. They say only a month. No, I nah, must, nah, nah, no, we, no. We don't like to get into politics. Joke is, joke I, I must say that Great Tops is joke is. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, <laughs> let, me, let me just uh, give you all a quick uh, history lesson is how the two of us became friends and adopted this guy. I it. think that would be good the, for ending. Yeah. Movie, yeah. All right. Okay, so. Um, uh, Luane and I pr probably knew each other longer than Terence. Yeah, we did. We, 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 I mean, we went to the same preschool, to the same school, uh, primary school. We moved up to high school together. Um, unfortunately, we went to the same class a lot. I mean, Louis and I didn't really get on. Didn't we go to, uh, like, Tamil class together? Yeah, and yeah. Really? O oddly enough, Serious? we did. Oddly yeah. enough, we... we when we were at uh, primary was school, the mouth of the class. I was the mouth of the South. Bruh! Couldn't, yeah, yeah. couldn't stop talking. The, yeah. reason, the reason why I, okay, I um, I am a very re gender, how can I say, religious neutral person. I do have a religion, but I chose to do Tamil because of a girl. I kind of had a crush on her. So I went there and stuff like why that. Why did the man give you a front seat? <laughs> and why was a colored guy like me in a Tamil class? So it's a Zulu class. Was it that? No, no, I mean what you see, mean. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Colours so, doesn't necessarily mean that you 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 do black and white mixed race. It's just the only reason that I took the class is that I was so confused what was this Zulu and what was Tamil? So I was like Maybe Tamil would be my, my, uh, uh, my if, best if, choice. If I remember correctly, I think I did Hindi and Tamil because I had a crush on a girl. I don't think she crushed on me back, so I went back to Tamil. Then I realized I think I had a crush on the teacher. So I went back to Tamil. 
I mean, like, there was one of those things. But, I mean, we got to high school. Cool. Aren't you uh, like 65 years old? So yeah, don't tell don't any judge. stories about... Don't judge. About, about, don't judge. About, uh, don't judge. She rocked 65, okay? She rocked that sari. <laughs> <laughs> We're not saying names. <laughs> Benji. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is, yeah, so um, oddly enough, Luane and I never really, never hung out. I don't think I ever spoke to him. You hated me. Don't tell stories about me because I can't I remember shit. I don't think shit. I even remember I can't remember our, shit about because, us. <laughs> yes, we were in the same socials, but very different. But I focused no, more was on... No, it wasn't. was in the high class socials. Not high class socials. I mean, like, I was a sportsman. Focused more on my cricket or my soccer. And stuff like that. So Less I, education. Yeah, I honestly, <laughs> to, to be honest, I did. But mm, to my surprise, I did have a little brain up there. Yeah, you did. My, you did. A little you brain. Did. You did. It, it got me out of school and uh, into college, which is good. Of the DNCs. The uh, thing is, uh, yeah. Uh, so, um, Terrence comes up in probably grade 7, 8, 9, around there. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, Truth be told, I hated this kid. New kid comes into the block, decides to run the show. I you know, wants to smoke, up. wants to act away. We honestly thought he, he he didn't belong, which he didn't. So I remember hating this guy because look at him. But <laughs> yeah, um, then he refreshed my memory. We actually went to a cultural school together, like an after school activity kind of thing. We went there. And we were like really good friends. I mean, like um, we had a little uh, how can I say naughtiness in us. Uh, let's not even say what we did there. But I mean, we did that. And like throughout school, um, I think there were stories between us. Louis was a singer. Terence was a rapper. I was a sports boy, played one philanthropist, as I was always. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and um, all honestly speaking, I never have a close relationship to this guy, not to this jerk. Uh, <laughs> never. And uh, when we were done with, with, with school, I mean, Terence was a friend, but not a friend friend. After school, um, I, split up, I split up for a year from, from, from them. Uh, I did my own things. Uh, in the, Towards my second-ish year, uh, Terence and I were traveling to camp together. And uh, next thing you know, from, from sharing lunch, to uh i used to steal lunch <laughs> uh, sharing lunch getting into business ventures with each other yes it was a legal business <clears throat> but uh yeah from doing that to asking him to uh, sort my laptop out to being friends to being best friends to being brothers i mean like the relationship developed and uh I'm the, I'm the most stable thing in his life and uh then we adopted luang i mean like and we kind of felt sorry for him because he was an outcast and <laughs> colored <friends>. kids. <laughs> colored kids. Yeah. No, wait, colors look good. What do you? What are you? Bro, I love colors. Like you love cousins. I uh, know. Like I love. <laughs> <laughs> I don't love, know. You're that freaky. I, I yeah, love colors. Uh, as I said, we 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 developed into a very weird friendship, which like it's a friendship we where we uh, where so, we don't have like hundreds of friends we just have a close knit group that to a point if Where you, anyone needs a thing yeah regardless of whatever time it is you pick up a phone and like bro I need you done no questions asked and uh, I think you know that's how we, we started this I have, friendship uh, and stuff like I that. have done it to him like bro I need help I'm gonna do it to you yeah I'm just <laughs> saying uh, my phone will be on silent from now onwards <laughs> <laughs> uh, not to say I don't like him, I just don't. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm joking. I, I love you, Louis, but from a distance, social distancing now. 1.5? Huh? Is it 1.5? No, more like light chairs. <laughs> <laughs> sure, 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 sure. <laughs> yeah, you know what these shots. But out of all of those those things. Since so you uh, suck, good friends can have another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You know. Jawbreaker me. Jawbreaker. Here? The lion? No, I'm, I'm cool. I don't like sugary things. I think you should call my cat. No, what? There's nothing wrong with that. Like I, told, I explained this before. Like I don't like to have. How much have you watched a movie called Polly? <laughs> How do you sing its song? Hey, pussy cat, pussy cat, pussy cat. 
Where are you? Just because I believe that you shouldn't have sugary things all the time. Oh, here we go. It is a healthy choice. Here we go. Here we go. Am I wrong? It should be told. He's a good friend. Sometimes you just want to hit him upside the head with a ball. Yeah, you can try that. You all can try. <laughs> you all can try. <laughs> you know, uh, when we do that, when he's sleeping, he'll be like, oh, guys, I'm tired. Don't you ever dare. Because yeah. I bet you, if you do that, you better finish the job. Same time. <laughs> no. On the following day, I doubt that he'll remember anything. Bro, I guarantee I you. I guarantee you, like, it doesn't know what he did this morning. 80% of my uh, campus career. Uh, campus studies, I barely remember most of the stuff. I just remember highlights. Exactly my point. Like, you can ask him, like, I barely remember shit. No. Like, I can, he tells me and reminds me stuff, like, hey, you remember you said this to me and you remember you did this to And I'm like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Oddly and enough, he was a virgin to our campus. <laughs> Good life choice. You don't have like assemblies at campus. No! Don't it's, what do you think? It's, it's cool. campus. You're Sorry, free guys, to go to lectures, you're not free to go to lectures. Like, okay, do you, know, do you know what campus is? I wouldn't be in that place. Okay, explain to me what campus is. Campus is like work without the work. Like, you can decide to go to class and not So basically, go to campus is not even like work. Basically, campus is like school without. A guard at the gates, uh, not allowing you for late coming. Your teachers don't know your name. Uh, they don't know you in their class. You choose whether you want to write a test or go to lectures. You choose whether to learn. You choose everything. You have free will in it. Uh, basically, uh, it's it's a place where they offer studies. You choose to go and study. If you don't want to, you don't. I like that it, it was so amazing like I miss my campus here so much but I would I hate the study I hated the study but enough Same about that school. guys I think it's time to end thank you very much for watching catch you on the flip side uh, I'm the lion this is the bear and, and that's we the got mural. the uh, our our technical guy which is the mural and as you can see the mural <laughs> <laughs>